I feel like I'm quoting someone else here. Um, but we condemn what we don't understand, which is why I think things like this really help, because the more we understand, the less we condemn. My life in New York City is very, I'd say, hectic. Growing up, like, I had many friends from all different faiths, all different cultures, and that's how I found myself knowing that reconciliation and peacemaking was important because that's what I dealt with all my life. I'm quite new to finding my faith. I only found it this year, really. But being around people from different faiths has given me more confidence because I know I'm not the only youth in the country or in the world that has faith. So the Emerging Peacemakers Programme is welcoming Christians and Muslims from the US and from across the UK to encounter one another, to engage deeply with difference, to think about restoring relationships and then reimagining a shared future together. Before the programme, I was like not really sure I wanted to go. I was like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna get the best out of it. And I'm so glad I came, like so glad I came. I don't really talk about faith usually because I feel that I'm betraying my own faith by talking about another faith and reconciling with them. But when I came here, I felt that I wasn't betraying anyone. I was just creating peace. I knew a little bit about the Muslim faith because I'd studied it at school, but actually putting like a face to what I knew at learning more, it's helped me understand why people have different views. I think that I've learned how to communicate with people and like take a step back and be like, explain to me how you see it so that I can step into your shoes and relate to you based on your story. The transformations I've seen in our students um, since they've arrived are really nothing short of extraordinary. We've seen them be bold in their faith in a way that's not cool at home in New York City public schools. I feel more equipped as a reconciler because I don't have this, this guilt in me that's restricting me from talking to other groups because now that I've experienced I, I want to talk to other groups, I want to learn more about these other groups in order to learn more about myself. My life will probably change because I'd be a bit more open about my faith because now it's more predominant and more of a bigger focus in my life. On this Rose Castle trip, um, I've grown closer to the people from my faith and from my church and so I think that I've grown closer to God through them. I feel like it's so important to do what we're doing here, meeting people of different faiths and cultures and backgrounds because it's, it's a unity, you know? Religion is all about peacemaking. It's all about living together. I didn't expect to be so affected by the content. I didn't expect to be so affected by the relationships and the connections I was making and our kids are already talking about Rose Castle 2.0 next summer. <laughs>